I'm back. Last time I played as Germany, I was humiliated and lost to both Russia and the third international. But now the German rework has dropped and I will ensure victory for the Kaiser and Germany will never be challenged again. Hi, I'm Colonel Cam and welcome to 11 years as the new Germany in Kaiserreich. Hello guys, and welcome to my second attempt at Germany. Now, if you haven't watched the first one, don't bother, okay? I lost. It wasn't very good, okay? And, but now there's a new rework. I'm, I'm coming back and we're gonna win this time. Now, really quickly before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. A lot of time and effort goes into these videos and I'd really appreciate it. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. So if you, guys, if you guys could get me there, I'd be so grateful. Now, without further ado, let's go check out this new Kaiserreich Germany rework. I think it's everything. I think that is everything. Cool. We got negative zero political power to begin. What do we got? March leads to April. All right. Victors of the Weltkrieg, obviously. We yep. Obviously, that gives debuffs. Very cool. Duchess Welt. Okay. Look at that. Surrender limit plus ten percent. In case we, in case things go wrong, I guess. Christmas spike. Oh, look at that. It's good. Fruits of the open door. Lovely. And a uh, member of the Middle Europa, which obviously... Are we not the leader or something? I don't know. Maybe we're not leader of Middle... I don't know. Um, look at all this. Look at this. It's good. This year is going to be a very busy year. So I'm going to take this slowly. Because a lot of events now. This new re rework is a new focus tree as well. Look at that. It looks good. Um, we got all this stuff here. That's so cool. And yeah, so basically there's a bunch of events that we got to deal with. A bunch of new ones. There's like this trading card game that you got to do. I've got no idea what this is, but I mean, I figure it out, but you, you'll see. So I plan on going down to Regime of the Red General. That's what I want to do. I, I think I know how to do it. Um, I've, I've looked at the path guides and stuff, but I'm not sure if it matters what we click here, as long as we just have a vote of uh, we, we avoid the vote of no confidence in, in this voting thing. You'll see in the future. So I'm just going to click this one. Um, I'm, not sure if it, I'm not sure if it matters. But, oh, here it is. There we go. All right, we just got to make sure there's... A, well, it's not this one yet, but there's another thing. Now we have a... Escalate... Oh, God. Escalation of the economic crash. Every time... Every, like, 10 days this goes up. Whoa. It's not looking good, man. Yep, so the Black Monday trading card game is about to happen. I do not know what much about this, and I was yoloing it the entire time, you know, I was just guessing. But there we go, the Black Monday card game. We got a card game, right? Have a look at this. I, I did this, I tried to figure, where, uh, figure out what this is in my test run. Look at this! Oh my gosh. It's like a... What, what is this? Trading card game. <laughs> it's like Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. What's going on? It's a turn card based on uh, which must play against the crisis to defeat it. Match its wits and strategy. Every 30 days, you will draw a hand from your deck of cards, including three types of relief, recovery, and reform. Okay, these cards can boost boost one another, draw more cards, give you advantages, or simply deal investment and stability score, your attack and defense. At the end of the round, you must surpass the crisis stagnation and economic decline. Right. While also being aware that the mounting toll this takes on your debt. What? <laughs> what? We have the following cards in our deck. Alright. I'm just gonna... So we have 14 days till the end of our turn. Recovery card. Unless a reform card has been played this turn, it has card as no effect. Okay. Two cards will be drawn from the deck. Add 5% to the debt. Okay, that's no good. Economic... You see what I mean? What the hell is this? I mean, I figured it out eventually. There's like this crisis type and you gotta play cards that are like super effective against the crisis type and you can change it and whatnot. But... Uh, at, the, at this time, at this point in time, I was still very confused. All right, so I think to be able to do the red regime or something, wait, yeah, re regime of the red general, we need to pass the enabling act, which this guy does. All right, we need to keep this guy in power somehow, I think. And then economic health has to be above negative five. Currently, it is negative ten. Okay, so we're close, I think. All right, but we got to go down here, and these uh, unlocked by event. Oh, wait, oh, it's good. So essentially, we just balance this trading card game, and we balance the political whatever, the b political senate, What I don't know what it is, but it, it, balance it, and then uh, we'll be golden. We'll be good. So, I mean, I hope so. We have this now, which is... I tried fiddling around with it, but I want to try and get them so that these guys, these Democratic Union and whatever the hell this is, do not get 223 seats. And you can see what they're targeting here. So these are the parties that they're targeting, and then you need to click the buttons to try and protect the parties that they're targeting. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> parties. Well, which one has the most seats? Okay, Democratic Union. So now we want to find, they're doing the LVP left, Minority Block, and Zentrum left. 
So what is the LVP left looks pretty influential. 24, so we're going to target that one. The, uh, what was it? What else was it? The, see now it says successfully, unsuccessfully targeted. Look at this, minority block. Are they pretty powerful? I, I guess, I don't know. Minority block, and then Zentrum right. Where's Zentrum right? That's pretty, wow, they're pretty strong actually as well. Let's, let's target them. Target Zentrum right, and then let's see what these guys, okay, that, yeah, let's see what these guys are doing. DKP, are they powerful? Yeah, they're pretty strong actually. Cool, there we go. Now these guys should go up the lowest amount. So not only am I dealing with this trading card game every 14 days, but I've also got this thing to, deal, to, to balance, and I can't let them get over 223 or something, I think it was. Otherwise, then there will be a vote of no confidence, and the political and the path that I want to go down will be abolished. We got, we, it's a new turn. It's a new turn. Recovery card. Changes the crisis type. Is inflation's crisis... Uh, control cards would be more effective. Do we... How many... We do, okay, we don't have any control cards. So let's change the crisis type. Right? Where? Here. Labor crisis. Okay, so that means work creation cards would be more effective. There we go. Work creation card. Look at this. Boom. I did it. I did the thing. I did the... Look at me go, man. Oh, I'm such a G. No effect. And recovery card. Yeah, there's no point. Okay. Oh, it's Mother's Day. All right. You are now to be able to flag one more faction to protect it from the conversion. Beautiful. That's exactly what we need. That is actually exactly what we need. Look, why has it gone back to negative 10? It's a labor crisis. So what cards are effective? Again, work creation. Recovery, recovery, money create. Oh, sorry, money creation. No, work creation. Can you imagine dealing with this every every 14 days for the entirety of 1936? This wasn't Black Monday. This is Black 1936, all right? 50 out of 100. We need to make sure it's above 25, but below 75. So now on top of all that, we've got strikes to deal with and we have to balance the intensity. It has to be above 25 for some reason. I don't know why it's got to be above a certain number, but it has to be also below 75. So I've got to keep it in this range and uh, well, this one's uh, pretty hard as well. Who is this? Oh, Canada. Oh, what are they doing? Why are they war with, uh, uh, oh, cause they went syndicalist, all right. Them or declare war with Belgium. So yeah, Belgium, uh, what is this? More, uh, Dude, how am I supposed to survive out here? How am I supposed to survive as Germany? What is going on? I don't even know what's... Um, let's try and negotiate with Belgium. At least, stop being annoying. Belgium demands yet more. We should lose core on Luxembourg and... And what? Vivers and Luxembourg. Offer them Walloon Luxembourg. Let's see, counter offer. Oh, they took it. The treaty is signed, there we go, they can have that. They get, they're happy, they just wanted a bit more land, alright, cool. The Enabling Act. Okay, this is what we need to pass, right? To be able to do this, the Enabling Act has been passed. With the Enabling Act in place, I can't even speak, the, uh, can pass the decrees without Reichstag assent and is immune to any votes of no confidence. Yes, there we go, stability plus 10%, political power plus 100. <gasps> we have positive political power for the first time in years, I think it's, I think it's time we do something. Hold a summit for peace. One land fort, one land fort, one land fort. All right, let's establish the Indochina. Hold a summit for peace. And that's what we use our, we use, we use our political power for good. So the Spanish Civil War and the Bulgarian War has kicked off. However, I gotta send volunteers to these and uh, well, it doesn't really go as planned. Regime of the Red General. Thank gosh, all right. Stability plus 10%, political power plus 100. We're finally getting some stability back. After the first year of this guy's uh, chancellorship, is shown that a strong hand is necessary to navigate Germany in today's troubles. The Red General provides it with the enabling act in one hand and the clique of loyalists in the other. He will reshape and transform German society, foraging a new state which can overcome these adversities. Beautiful. Now I'm kind of nervous. You know, Russia's going to be hard. The international's going to be difficult. It's all going to be difficult. Alright, 1937, the Central European Customs Union returns to activity. Oh! What is this? Are these, oh, these are all the members of, uh, Middle Europa. Um, oh, I can, I can click this. I'm spending political power. Five. See, I don't know, is it, I can go back down. Okay, I get the political power back. What is a gender score? What? Can base controlled factories. So is this all of our factories combined? What? I'm so confused. 
But yeah, look, I'm not going to even bother explaining this one. I just ignored it the entire game. I clicked some random buttons here and there, but apart from that, just didn't exist. Board for Total War. Okay, so now we have decisions here. Cool. Negotiate with the federal states. What if I just did all of them? Oh, I need of course, I need political power. Um, what's the last decision? Eh, that, we're not doing that. A call to total war. Dude, we're not even at war yet. Establish the W system. Yes, we need the W system, guys. We cannot have the L system. It needs to be a W system. Did my volunteers die? My mountaineers? Dude, you can't be serious. Swedish petitions to join the Reichs Pact. Yeah, right. Serbia to club one Bulgaria. There we go. Signal company, yada yada. And we got another one of these. Okay, we got to support Bulgaria. Um, send volunteers. We can send four again. Nice. Uh, I don't have any tanks. Dude, I'm actually so disappointed. All of my tanks and stuff must have died here, and I didn't even realize. We're actually going into the fall. We actually went into Bucharest. Surely, follow the railway. Resistance. What? What happened? Why is the AI actually mentally... Oh my god, man. You're joking. Look at that. I somehow managed to kill all of my volunteers again. I did it in Spain. I didn't even, re I didn't even realize. I Honestly, I completely forgot about Spain. And then I <laughs> sent them to Bulgaria and I, I killed them there too. What am I doing? Dude, the AI is supposed to fill in the gaps. Right? That's what, they, that's what, that's what the whole point of the AI is. No, I'm not helping you. That's it. You're done, Bulgaria. You're actually done. So stupid, man. Two tanks and two mountaineers. They died. I just sent volunteers. They all died. I'm not sending volunteers ever again. Okay, maybe that's a bit harsh. I probably will send volunteers again, but uh, maybe that's a bit harsh. But this is funny watching back. I'm not going to lie. France threatens Switzerland. Warn them to turn back. We've guaranteed Switzerland. If they invade, then uh, they're in big trouble. Ever, man. They back down. There we go. Diplomacy has been achieved. Diplom Diplomacy has achieved peace once again. They like us. Yay. And now finally, after playing that board game, no, not board game, card game, every 14 days, it was finally over. I had one Black Monday. Oh, the economy recovers. The Black Monday card game is over. I have won. I did it. I won the Black Monday card game with no idea of what I was doing, but simply just guessing. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's over. Thank gosh. I was worried I would have to do that the whole time. <laughs> That'd be uh, very annoying. Oh, look at it. Okay, so... Oh, look at this. Okay, colonial budget. You know, we're going to do this. We're going to do it, alright? I do not want Middle Africa to fall. Right. This will be the playthrough where I play as Germany and Middle Africa will survive, okay? This will be the one. Oh, whoa, this resistance is a bit strong. I mean, that's 100 out of 100. No, 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 can't be having that. You know, all of them, all of them. Wait, what's going on? The end of this, I had failed. I can't believe it. After putting all that effort balancing the Monday, Black Monday card game and the political thing where I had to successfully target all of the other parties, I failed to the, the revolts or the riots. The, the, the intensity went over 75 and now the chief got deposed or something. I don't know. No. Max fa- Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, this? Oh my gosh, man. Dude, because I let it to get to 100. No, oh my. Every time I start this game, a, a new year, it just absolutely ends in chaos and catastrophe. Um, the Italian Civil War resumes. We would be on the side of these guys, all right? Yeah. And now we've got all these states that are just ignoring our laws, like Bavaria declaring nullification. Bar Bavaria declares nullification? What? What is this? Resource gain efficiency, negative 100%. Manpower. Bavaria. What? They can't just do that. Kingdom of Wattenberg. What? We will reach out. Focus on the unreasonable Bavarian demands. Stands with Bavaria. 
You know, Bavaria is like that one kid in the classroom who's really annoying and encourages the other kids to be really annoying. And now you've just got one annoying kid who's just encouraged all the other annoying kids. And now they're starting a revolution against me or something. I don't know what's going on. Empire. No, they stand with B Bavaria. This is... Oh, these guys submit. Yay. Move nullification of imperial law. So there's some compromise now where the, the law will be... So that will go away. And now, yeah, so now that's gone, and we have uncompleted a bunch of focuses. Uh, which, which focuses did we uncomplete? That's crazy, uncomplete. I ended, I couldn't end up finding the focuses. Anyway, Portugal has been fighting Middle Africa for this entire time, and we're winning, so it's good. Africa. No. We'll fight on, right? We're winning. Of course we'll, of course we'll fight on, we're winning. I should, I should give these guys someone. Dude, Hungary is still fighting. They've been fighting for a while. Should I be, like, concerned? I don't know. Maybe I should support the Austrians. Are you down this? He resigned because the... Oh, the uprising. The uprising. That's right. That's what happened. So we can't continue down this. What? Right, I don't think this is that good anyway. It doesn't really feel like that interesting. Like, it's not... The way... Oh, this is so confusing. It... Nineteen The very last year we had to prepare for the Second World Krieg. So, <laughs> we'd go... Better start getting ready. We're going to extinguish Norway. But that means... It has to be... Oh, yeah, okay, so that will start. That will literally start the World Krieg, so... Copenhagen Conference. Okay... That's good that we can meet on peaceful terms at the start of 1939. Hosted by Christian X, Belgium was set to be discussed in the future. Additionally, both Britain and Germany agreed to reduce the amount of submarines and long-range strategic bombers, as long as the other party would do the same. We lose war support for this. Fine. Agreement reached! Can you believe that? World tension is de-escalated by 14. I cannot believe that worked. Obviously, we're still going to go to war at some point, but we can get more stability. Yes. Bush war. German advantage. Good. We have the German advantage. For these last few months of the war, having gone past without an overwhelming, without an overwhelming victory. But we do have an advantage. Portugal, the yada, yada, yada. Let us make our demands for a settlement with this war. A limited peace is not an option. We shall fight till decisive victory. You know what? Let's make demands. I cannot be bothered. We have not achieved a complete and decisive victory. Our situation on the ground at the moment is looking significantly better than that of Portugal. We shall demand northern Mozambique. We need security zones in both northern Mo Mozambique and north. Yeah, both, 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 both. Oh, we did it. Okay, so we got... Uh, did we do it? I think so. The USA ended up joining the Entente pretty early on, which was actually really good news for us because, uh, you know, the Entente goes to war with the Third International. Well, usually it does, so, uh, well, I hope things go well. Right, the Ottomans send volunteers. These six. Dude, I'm sending all of my tank divisions. Alright, we're gonna help capitulate Egypt for the Ottomans. Oh, we did it. We finally crossed. Jeez, that was actually kind of hard. Three divisions have arrived in... Here. Cool, let's just chuck them here, I suppose. I don't know who they think they are, bro. Infantry, armor, division, attack, and defense. Good. There we go. Okay, mobile warfare. 1939 was all, all, all about preparing my army for the enclosing walls on us between Russia and the Third International, and hopefully we could hold them off, so... Well, I guess you'll see if I did a good job or not. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Oh, yes. 1940. Oh, we're about to capitulate Egypt. All right, it's good. Yeah. I gotta, like, I sh What should I do? Should I assign all the planes together and just, like, go to different air zones, like, with, like, five trillion fighters in one air zone, or should I spread my planes out? See, if I spread them out, they can all get shot down separately, but if I put them all together in one air zone, bit by bit, I can hunt down, like, all the enemy air force. Oh, they made it. Oh, never mind. They didn't make it. Nope, they did not make that at all. Okay. 
let's just leave our troops in Alexandria for now. I'm not really... Unless we go fight Egypt, uh, Iran, sorry. Or, um, no, it's all mountains. Hungary still exists. Can you believe that? Like, this war is actually... This is the longest I've seen this war go. I thought normally they get absolutely crushed, like, annihilated instantly. But it seems... It seems they're doing alright. And our navy. I am just going to make one big one. Because last time, when I split my navy into three smaller ones, they all got destroyed individually. So now, if I make one gigantic navy, what are they going to do? You know, tensions are high, and the French think that they can shell some of our land without an apology. Yeah, not happening. Shelling of, oh, the shelling of Efringen. Demand an apology. They better apologize. Oh, it's at 9, it's at 81%. We can declare war on them. We can declare war on them over this. Well, actually, we declare war straight away now with, with Norway. Extinguish the Norwegian Revolution. That is such a brilliant idea. We can declare war on... Just before we... The Commune of France mobilizes? It is obvious that the Commune has planned to go at war with Germany, and so-called whatever is nothing more than a convenient excuse, warning that the modern, innovative, well-trained French army is nothing like the battered 1919 counterpart and should not be underestimated. Rally the troops. 10% war support. We're rallying the troops, boys. Now I better slow down time. We uh, don't have enough troops on this border, but... We have the, what, we have the, we have the Maginot line, essentially. It's like a bunch of forts. Um, we have Switzerland in our faction, right? Yes, let's cover Switzerland, right? I forgot, uh, I don't want to forget to do that, otherwise they might actually get through. Now, war is on the horizon, and the Dutch are asking us for things, and people are just being angry at us, and Russia is justifying on us, and all this absolute craziness is happening. Uh, well, I better just show you. One day before we're about to declare war, what's going on? has discovered evidence that Japanese are planning to invade their colony, realizing that they would never be able to defend their colony with their largely overextended colonial army and limited naval blah blah blah. We can get them to join the Reich's Pact. Oh, dude, they're just a target for a naval invasion. They're just a target for a naval invasion. I'm not gonna lie. Clog wearers shouldn't have colonies anyhow. <laughs> That's so mean, man, but true. anti -Agos. There we go. Germany declared war on Norway. Call to arms. They should accept. Remember that card game I had? Well, my result on that card game actually gives me a modifier now that determines how prepared I am for this war. So, well, have a look. Okay, called in. Uh, what's this? You will receive the lacking preparedness modifier, whose initial effects will be determined by your pre-war actions. National debt in the Black Monday mechanic. Successive or failure. Railway. Oh dear. Uh oh. I was not even sure about what I was doing there. Um, where is it? Okay, negative 28% defense, that's pretty bad. Recovery rate, organization off of the Navy. Factory output? Oh, it's just, uh, not good, is it? The war flag. Yes, the war flag will lead us to victory. There it is. We got the, the flag for while we're at war. Denmark wants to join the Reich's Pact. Is that just a way that they can invade us? It's barely hanging on, but okay, yeah. We'll, 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 uh... Iceland joins as well. Interesting. Yeah, here we are. Then, oh, we sunk their pride of the fleet. There we go. Look at us go, man. Yes, so now we have complete control of that area. Um, Russia, don't attack us. Russia, uh, Russia are destroying us. Russia are destroying... Can you believe that? As soon as I looked over there and said, do not attack us, they instantly declared war on us. And now we're losing. We literally are losing. I have to take my army off Norway, right? Forget about Norway and put it back on the Ukraine front because Ukraine is falling very quickly. But close to, we're pretty close to our division limit as well. Like, what am I supposed to do? I lost as Germany last time and I can see why. Why, how would I win this? How, what's the strat? Like, dude, oh, Sicily wants to join the Reich's Pact. Sure, because these guys joined the Third International. Like, am I supposed to declare war on them in 1939 or something? This is impossible. Is this supposed to be really hard? We've lost Antwerp. He's 45 divisions into this, and we're still getting pushed back here. Look at this. We just got encircled. 45 divisions. 
the walls were slowly closing in. We got Russia coming through at a breakneck pace into Ukraine. I mean, they were going really quickly. They were destroying our army, and then the French crawling closer and closer to our heartland. They just taken out Belgium. They literally capitulated. What? Whatever, man. Whatever. You know what? Sure. Kill all of our dudes. That's fine. Yeah, I got one job, bro. Dude, are we losing Switzerland? What? Uh, it's at 99. Let's just abandon it. We gotta just abandon it. It's a lost cause. What? What? Where did our fleet go? What is it doing? Where's our fleet? They're repairing, man! You can't be serious. There's no way. Did I ever tell you guys how much I hate the Navy in this game? Have I ever told you how much I despise the mechanics of the Navy? Why would it, why does it automatically re repair the whole fleet when one ship is like 80% health? It, it annoys me so much. Look at this. These are tank divisions. Look at my tank division. It's not bad. Thank gosh, man. God, what a waste of time. And now we're getting pushed back in every place you can find. Not fun. At least Ukraine is, you know, calmed down. At least Ukraine has calmed down. Yep, we don't have enough. Command power. Never have enough command power. Alright, now we just sit and do nothing for about... Oh, well, the entirety of the Russian Air Force is over here and we can't even... Seven trillion divisions. We get pushed back so full supply. We get pushed back so easily here. But when we have divisions that we're fighting that have got absolutely no supply, we've got full air supremacy. They don't have any supply because we're attacking the convoys here. No, we cannot. We can't take them out straight away. No, 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 no. We can't take them out at all. But no, we're getting absolutely decimated here, man. I mean, make it make sense. It's that bloody modifier that I had lacking preparedness that reduces my defense like 30%. All of these guys actually. You know, let's request the entirety of the Middle Africa army. They're not doing anything, I guarantee you. So, here we go. Uh, they should go on the... Here, in the Western Front. One on the Western Front, one on the Eastern Front. That sounds like a good idea, especially around Ukraine. Here we are. I'm back and I've uh, calmed down a bit. Um, I don't know how I'm going to win though. It might work. There we did. Hang on. And suddenly I was onto something. I was using my tanks and I was trying to push through back through Belgium. And France all of a sudden were actually getting pushed back. And I had some hopes here. Are we getting pushed back by Russia? No, Russia's decided to stop attacking, which is actually really good. What's going on? The war is taking longer than initially anticipated. Uh, what are you talking about? I, I, I anticipated this. I anticipated the length of this war. You know, they mean one thing, just like the first World Krieg, rationing time. A major pillar of the war economy is the adjustment of every German citizen's dietary plan. No more sausages. Oh, do we get a sausage with it? What is, what is, what is sausage Brayton? What? All right, whatever, cool. It's war support. People are actually, you'd think we'd lose war support for rationing, but no, only we get it. Now we're onto something. Now we're going somewhere. There's some provinces that we can reach. There we go. Oh my gosh. Encirclement time? Please. Oh, the death of Wilhelm. All right, we have a third one now. Okay, cool. Doesn't even, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Now, don't get me wrong, we still didn't have any kind of breakthrough. Um, the combined forces of France and Britain were still really strong, and I couldn't break through that much. I just had a little bit of Belgium that I was able to hang on to. The USA has assumed leadership of the Entente? That's crazy. Okay. Yo! That's good. The Canadians are going to declare war on the Union of Britain, which is the third international, and we will start winning. At least that's what I had hoped, and well, I would be wrong, but uh, at least we're holding against Russia. You know, Russia have been attacking us for such a long time now with, with no with no hope, so you'd think they'd run out of equipment by now. Just exquisite. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. 
This red guy, Werner von Blomberg. Give me 15 command, command, command power, please. We're finna get logistics wizard. I know. What we, either one, man. I'll take out either one first. But then if we take out France, we have to take out Spain. Oh, Spain. Thing. And Italy. Ooh. We didn't just hold against Spain and Italy while we take out Russia. Look at these. They got no equipment. Look at this. All of them are just not even fully equipped. Like, how are they even supposed to win? Offensives? Oh. Costs 2,000 guns, 5,000 support equipment to take the decision. Division speed, organization, supply consumption. That is good. That's really good. We're going to wait to use that, though. Then I, then I had a thought. If Russia have got no equipment now, I can't just let them sit on my border and regain equipment quickly. I would have to take advantage of them of having no equipment now. So, I had an idea. Every single division has no equipment. All of them have no equipment, man. Surely we can take him, right? Dude, maybe Russia. Pushing into Russia is the answer. Hooray! The under-equipped Russians who tried throwing themselves at our army could not keep up. And we made it across here. That's really good. Alright, let's go. Actually, we've got to go across the river, so we got to go here. Russia is the focus now. Russia is the focus now. Look at this. Encircle these guys. Now we were going to focus on Petrograd. It was the closest Russian major city that we had, and we had all our forces were focused on it because the fall of Petrograd would be very humiliating and demoralizing. I can't even say the word. Come on, take it. Yes. Oh, we've encircled Petrograd. Dude, oh my gosh. What the heck is happening? Look at this. How did this suddenly just happen? Oh, Russia. Be better. This is way better than I thought. The Russia are going to take a while to capitulate. They're only at what? 25. We haven't taken Moscow or anything. And they're 25. We're taking Smolensk and like a bit here. And Rostov and that. The undersupplied Russians, man. So this is why you supply your troops well. Don't be like Russia here. Alright, look at this. Oh my gosh. Russia have just taken 5 million casualties. This might work. Are Russia going to sign a separate peace deal? They might have to. At what point do they do that? They just fall already? There it is, the fall of Moscow. The Russian situation is dire. They're actually close. There we go. Petrograd has fallen. They're at 77. Now, we had taken so much Russian land. We'd taken all the major cities. We'd uh, taken, what, Volgograd, is it called now? I don't know what it is. Uh, we'd taken Moscow. We'd taken Petrograd. At this point, we could offer them peace. However, they were in such bad shape that I could just, we could just keep going. As our soldiers continued to mount gains in the grueling war against the Russian bear, calls for peace have become louder. The Russian invaders are quickly losing ground and have already lost many of their major cities and industrial centers, making a counterattack unlikely. Reports of desert... Okay, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the you guys get the gist. If you want to read more, you can read it. Uh, we can just end peace, or we'll, we'll see nothing but unconditional surrender. This time, we'll see because if we offer peace again, you know they're going to do the same thing in about twenty years. So, nothing but in con unconditional surrender. All right, it, it, it's how it's just how the world works these days. All right. <laughs> oh, it looks like we already got it. There it is, the unconditional surrender of Russia. Wait, is that Lev? Is that Levy? The guy from the guy who plays chess, I swear to God. <laughs> That's so. <sorry. laughs> oh man! All right, there we go. Now we gotta do the fate of. There we go. All this, the fate of everything, basically. Okay, we'll we'll save this for the great counterattack later. The fate of Russia. We could liberate the core Russian lands. Russian Republic comes a German Republic. Separate Siberia from Russia. Liberate Russia with all the lands. Maintain occupation for now. I want to separate Siberia from Russia. Now we're really gonna hurt them. For, they they literally signed the peace deal with us, and then we they came back and tried to declare war on us. No, separate Siberia from Russia. Oh look at that, Siberia, Russia. Do I get the fate of whatever that is? Uh, granted to Armenia, we don't need it. Establish Central Asian Asian. Oh that's so cool. A Central Asian Federation. Maintain or uh, choose individual regions. No no no. Central Asian Federation. That's what we're talking about. How cool is that? Look at this. We got a whole Central Asian Federation. 
That's so cool. Alright, the fate of the far Russian east. Uh, Siberia can have it. Alright, that just makes sense. Fate of Karelia. I wouldn't mind giving Karelia to Finland. There you go. Look at wide Finland. Fate of Northern Caucasus. Oh, uh, I would not mind occupying this, but at the same time, it's like... Uh, Liberate a Mountain Republic. That's probably... Yeah, we'll do that. And then Fate of... Le Where's that? Oh, it's here. Give it to our Baltic allies. There we go. Russia is even more dissolved. Russia is actually... Yep, yeah, there we go. Now there is going to be absolutely no chance that the Russians will come back and fight us, alright? <laughs> in about 20 years, they're not going to be able to be unified. But first, we got to defeat the Third International as well. And if we kept doing the same thing, we were going to lose to France. We could not just get through their border, so I thought, okay... We conquer Norway, which I did pretty quickly, and then we focus on trying to invade Britain. Maybe that will lead to success. There, they're off. I've only got 10 divisions. So it might not go that well, but you know, it's worth it. It's worth a shot, you know? Maybe it will land, maybe... Uh, they're not Marines. I should have... Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm using Marines. My Marines would have been a, a good idea. Wow. That invasion did not work. That was idiotic of me. So I tried again with actual marines, and this time, well, they, they landed. Okay, this invasion is ready to go, let's do it. Yeah, another invasion with actual marines this time, man. With the force attack, can't lose. Can't lose. I fully just used Uber Eats to get a latte delivered to my door. <laughs> didn't even, didn't even want to go get it myself. I'm too lazy. Anyway, we're invading Britain. I'm a bit worried this naval invasion isn't going to hold off. Isn't going to hold though. Yes, my troops were again pl complaining about there not being enough supply to move, so I just had to abandon that invasion, and uh, try again, I guess. Yeah, unable to move province along path. Even if we have convoys, I don't think they will. Because they're all, like, just sitting out of supply. Look at this guy, Pavel. Isn't the guy, isn't that dude supposed to be in... That guy's a Polish guy. I swear that guy's in Poland in Normal Boy 4. Am I tripping? Oh my gosh. Great. Cool. At least our Marines got out, right? Yeah. Our Marines got out. But jeez, man. Now I had learnt that invading Britain was not going to be the easy way out. Uh, there was no shot because they still had a pretty big navy, despite my navy also being bigger. I did have supremacy, but you know, they're kind of scary, and uh, France was also an issue. They're both just as hard as, 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 as each other, essentially. Cool. Um, how are we going to get to France? I'm not power dropping. I could. No, I can't. What? So I had given up on invading Britain, and now I had an idea. Um, inspired by the World War I uh, strategy that Germany had to go around, all right? And this time, obviously, we already had Belgium, but they took Belgium away. So there was another country that we could go around, and that would be the Netherlands. By the time I declare we're in the Netherlands, they're just going to join the Third International, right? Is that how that's going to work? Should I take this gamble? Should I take the gamble? Because we can't push and they can't. We can't push into them, they can't push into us. But if we try and open up a new front here and just start like steaming through it might be the best option oh fill out our doctor let's try and get some uh combat support battalions rocket artillery do we have enough no we're not even producing it why would i uh, anti-tank no where's the artillery there it is crush through here and hopefully we can go down and i don't know how we're gonna it won't be an encirclement of any french divisions but at least it will spread them out make them a bit panicky, right? Who's guaranteeing? Netherlands is guaranteeing the independence of- okay, no one's guaranteeing, um, the Netherlands, though. So here we go, declare war, call allies. Boom. Okay, first things first. Oh, yeah, blah blah blah, we've, we've declared the- uh, this province here is of utmost interest to me. Okay, so we're gonna grab all our dudes here. Boom. 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 The ultimate gamble had begun. This brand new front could either lead in victory for us, or the Netherlands joining the Third International, a bunch more French and British troops coming into our northern area and then crushing us. I wasn't sure, but I was willing to take the risk. Oh, circling.
No one's capitulated. Beautiful. You know, annex all of this. Cool, and take whatever they have. Sorry, Netherlands, it had to be done. Alright, stop. Pause, 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 pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cancel, like, yada, yada, yada. Dude, like, no matter if we get across, like, look at all these, man. Ugh, just doesn't help. I was still hopeful though, and I still had one last trick up my sleeve. That offensive decision that I could click that would enable so many bonuses for my troops was still in my back pocket, and that could carry me to victory next year. Come on, that's it, I'm doing the offensive. Boom, offensive done. Come on man, break through here. Where are my marines? The fate of the Netherlands. Um, we're gonna main maintain occupation for now. Because I'm busy. <laughs> oh! Oh! No way. No way we made that there. Okay, things are looking good now, things are looking good. And that decision had single-handedly changed everything. We were finally pushing through Switzerland of all places, and then we would start pushing through Belgium itself. Excuse me, we're just taking Brussels. Continue pushing through the Belgium. Continue pushing through Belgium. Then we gotta take our airplanes and put them in Northern France. Oh, no way. We took the port. We took that port. We took that port. We took that port. There's no way. How? That was like stacked, man. But now we got encirclement here. No, no. We got to win over northern France. Mission efficiency is okay. 95. That's fine. There we go. We're moving. Oh my gosh. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. How? I cannot believe I'm, uh, it, it was literally like a deadlock. Like there's no possible way I could even think to win. Now like we're pushing through here. Yeah, that's another airbase, right? 2,000 planes. Oh my gosh. Get all the planes there. See, I told you guys. I told you guys. Someone said, would I ever play re uh, ever play Germany again because of the rework? Well, will I ever... Now I'm playing Kaiser Redux. Would I ever play Germany again? And I said, yes, I will play Germany again. And this time, I will make sure I win. And look at me now. I've defeated Russia. I'm walking into northern France, and no one can stop me. Same. We got a collab on them. That's important. That's actually I forgot we got I forgot we did that. That's huge. Yes, that collab I did on them quite a while ago is paying off now because uh, they're capitulating pretty quickly, and then soon we'll actually be able to have control of the channel. But that's obviously before we, I mean after, we capitulate France. Pressure Pro Model 60. A new dust filter for my Pressure Pro Model 60. That's what this guy's saying. That's what this guy's saying. He wants a new dust filter for his Pressure Pro Max Model 60. That's what he needs. Shout out to the people who get that reference. Wait. Give me divisions there, man. Fall of Paris. There we go. It seems the fall of the Commune of France is all now but assured. They're all from like 33 to 62 because we took France. Now where is... Some big ones. Bordeaux, Brest, Nantes, or whatever, however you say that. Marseille is another big one. They're all oh, so far away. Into Cherbourg. And obviously these guys are going down. There we go. Come into France capitulated. Let's clean up all of these. Oh, we got so much stuff. Uh, no, I've got the, hopefully the most of the blue army is going to go here. I'm going to chuck the red army over here and then the purple army can i don't know think about invading britain oh it's looking pretty good now and we're walking into spain walking into italy through switzerland and uh... now there was only one enemy left the union of britain and i wasn't sure if they were going to sign a peace with honor with us or anything um obviously i was going to take out spain and italy really quickly there were no issue but i was also really surprised that the entente hadn't declared war on the third international at all no, no, not a single declaration of war from them. They were just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, Spain done. Italy just capitulated. Right. Oh, 
right, here we are, 1945. Tired, man. All right, um, we gotta invade Britain somehow. I reckon we can invade through the channel. We've actually got the new, uh, what is it? The new, one of these. In fact, we could tr we can research that one. I wanna research that really quick. Let's get rid of uh, this anti-tank. I don't even use anti-tank. Let's, let's research this uh, as fast as we can, 102 days. With this new piece of technology where we can land like 100 units inside of England, we would have an unstoppable naval invasion force to retake, or not re not really retake, but to finally take Britain so that we would never be challenged again. How do we not have air? Come on, man. Oh, eventually we will. We will destroy their entire air force. Anyway, is my invasion ready? Yes, it is. Okay. It is time to get our navy. Naval invasion support everywhere good i think we should have supremacy go go and go first one looks like it's gonna land beautiful okay so the red army can now jump in here second one has almost landed i need to grab the port there it should land right you would you would think so invasion number three is like there's still a lot of marines these guys are all, all dead damn that wasn't very good and this invasion has what? Why did they stop? Did you see that? It like it landed here, but they stopped attacking here. That is not cool. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the naval invasions. They're just like bugging out or glitching out. Like we would land next to it, and then the actual invasion that is targeting the port will just stop attacking for some reason. I don't know. It's so weird. The other ones not work. Dude, do not lose. What? We just lost Portsmouth. No. Dude, our dudes are dying, man. We should we, it says we should be winning. That was just a hundred of our divisions gone. Literally a hundred. Done. Finished. Finito. Gone. I'm so disappointed. A whole army group, our entirety of our red army is gone. Dude, they all just died. All of those guys. How? Oh my gosh, man. That was a whole army, like, that was a massive army. I just died. Maybe 800,000 troops have just died in the British front. And they may have just won the battle, but Britain will not win the war. Oh! Wait, what is this? We have peace deal with the Ita Italians. That's weird. Liberate Malaysia. Fate of Italy. Release the Italian Federation as a puppet. Offer Sardinia in exchange for an alliance. Wait, what? Offer Sardinia? To who? To the French? For an alliance in the Entente? No. We'll decide what to do with each region separately. Maintain. Let's 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 do uh, separately. Southern Italy. Release the two Sicilies. We'll get those guys back. Lombardy. Um, the Duchy of Lombardia. Give it to us, Sicilian. No, no, no. The Duchess of Lombardia. Hey, look at that. Piedmonte. Oh, oops, I accidentally gave that to two Sicilies. Uh, Rome, we are going to... You know what, we'll give it to two Sicilies. They struggled. Struggled a lot. And they, they had a lot of uh, issues. We'll give this all to two Sicilies, I think. Venice. Oh, Venice is a puppet. Yeah, we got Venice. Look at that, Central Italy. Give it to Sicil Sicilian allies. Uh, Emilia. The Dutch, where's, where's Amelia? Is it here? Yeah, we gotta give it to Sicily. And then this, Florence, um, or Tuscany, we're going to release the Grand Duchy of Tuscany as a puppet. Whoa, 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 what? The USA is preparing to declare war on us. Why? Oh, these guys are war with the Third International. Why with us? What did we do? USA. No. Yep, so that's a disaster. So we're at war with the Entente, but I'm pretty much just going to ignore them. The only threat for us with the Entente is Portugal, which is on the Spanish peninsula, peninsula and we'd pr probably deal with very quickly. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm watching, uh, I'm on reels. Um, France. We just got the capitulation for France. Choose different areas? I can't, like... Oh. That's annoying. Okay, we'll liberate a puppet government then. Give it to the two Sicilies. Brittany, liberate, uh, Brittany, sorry. Fate of Northern France. 
Give it to Belgium. Yeah. Fate of Savoy. Uh, two Sicilies. Cool. There we go. Well, I was hoping I could do like Ossetania and really, you know, carve them up. But uh, unfortunately, you know, sometimes the game has ideas of its own. Portugal are in the Entente, of course. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get this army, I guess. There we go, Brazil. Sorry, Portugal. Let's get these guys back here. I don't think I put these guys in the in the invasion though, because if we all if the, if the invasion fails again and we all die, then what can we do? Considering I had lost about a third of my army in the previous invasion, I am now gambling half of my army in another invasion. What a, a wise decision this was. A, a true genius, but this time I was invading in one spot with multiple armies and multiple invasions in one spot, so hopefully this one went well. Maybe it'll work. These aren't even, um, these aren't even, what do you call them? Marines. Oh no, there's Marines in this one. Okay. Dude, they're gonna lose. I'm sick of these naval invasions. Why do they stop invading? Now that all these guys are dead. Unless we can grab that really quick. These guys go in, get in there now. Good. Perfect. Alright, let's just fill out the gaps here. Give them planning bonuses. I don't know if this is going to work though. Finally, we would get a strong foothold on the island and we could actually get supply through the ports now considering Portsmouth is a level 10 naval base and Dover as well, level 6. So a lot of supply coming in and uh, here's this montage. There it is. Finally, we beat the third international. The Union of Britain capitulated. Spain, Argentina, Chile, Norway, Britain, Paraguay. This is perfect. Okay, let's start with... Let's start with Britain. Okay, here we go. The fate of Britain. Uh, we could create a loyal British government, partition the island between England and Scotland, divide the island between England, Wales, and Scotland, occupy England, Scotland, or Wales shall be dealt with separately. There we go. Fate of Spain. Um, restore the kingdom. Because we can. Fate of Norway. Main uh, establish a Norwegian Republic. Yes. And occupy and uh, make him a puppet. Fate of Northern what? Oh, it's all this down here. Give it to Paraguay, I guess. I don't know. Chile. Liberate Chile under a friendly government. Argentina. Liberate Argentina under a friendly government. There we go. The fate of Wales. Release an independent Wales loyal to us. And same with Scotland. We should lease our territories in Northern England for the Scots too. No, no, no. Release a Scotland loyal to us. Fate of Catalonia. Release Greater Catalonia. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at that. Galicia. Lower Galicia. And the Basque Country. Just give it to Spain. Is that it? Are we done? I'm not playing past this. Unfortunately, we are already at war with the Entente, and the Third World Krieg has started even before the second one was over, which is really a shame because there's a part of the focus tree that says never challenged again or something, and we go down and, say, and it's required that the Second World Krieg is over, even though it is for us, but because we started the Third without any choice, that's happened now, and I can't go down it until I deal with America and Canada, and I'm not doing all that, all right? It's already 1945. I'm not going to drop part one and two of this because I just wanted to get this as a new rework. I just wanted to show you guys the new German rework. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you later.